Hello everyone. Welcome to the virtual flight test center. Aim of today's exercise is to demonstrate flight at ceiling height. We will practically see whether we can climb further and reach space. This is a typical climb performance graph showing how power varies with true airspeed for a particular altitude. The red line is the one which depicts the power available and the green curve shows the power required to sustain the flight. The difference between the power available and power required is called the excess power. The excess power can be used either to climb or accelerate the speed of the aeroplane. At low altitude, the engine produces more power. Hence, the difference between power required and power available will be the highest at sea level. Also take note of the two critical points marked in the x-axis which are the minimum and maximum speeds. At medium altitude, the power available from the engine reduces and the power required increases. Therefore, the excess power required for the climb reduces. So we can also see that the minimum velocity and the maximum velocity start moving closer to each other. At higher altitudes, excess power required for climb drastically reduces. Therefore, the difference between Vmin and Vmax becomes negligible. As we keep climbing further, we will reach the ceiling altitude, wherein the excess power will become zero. Both the minimum velocity and maximum permissible velocity will merge into one. This point is called coffin corner. At this point, we cannot afford to reduce the speed due to stall and we don't have enough engine power to increase the speed. Due to zero excess power available, we will not be able to climb any further beyond the ceiling height. The maximum altitude of DCS F15 is 58,000 feet. So I will maintain steady IAS of 350 knots till 20,000 feet after takeoff. Thereafter till ceiling height, I shall be maintaining 0.95 mark. I will not restrict the altitude to ceiling limit. I will try and breach the specified limit just to see what happens.